Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Monday, June 3rd. It's the seventh week of the Easter season, and week six in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 89, verse 19 to 29, and Luke chapter 9, verse 51 to 62. Join me now in singing the second verse of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts, to the tune of Old 100. Our God is God and God alone does life and breath and being give. We are God's work and not our own. The sheep that on God's pastures live. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help thee. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, once you spoke in a vision, I have exalted one chosen out of my people. Alleluia. Psalm 89, and please recite it with me. <clears throat> Alleluia, once you spoke in a vision, and to your holy ones you said, I have laid the crown upon one who is a warrior. I have exalted one chosen out of my people. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him. My hand shall hold him fast. My arm shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not deceive him, nor the children of wickedness afflict him. And I will crush his foes before his face and plague them that hate him. But my faithfulness and love shall be with him, and in my name he shall be victorious. I will set his dominion from the great sea to the river. He will say to me, You are my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. I will make him my firstborn, higher than the rulers of the earth. I will keep my love for him forevermore, and my covenant shall stand fast with him, and his descendants I will make endure forever, and his throne as the days of heaven. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, once you spoke in a vision, I have exalted one chosen out of my people. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 9, beginning at verse 51. When the days drew near for Jesus to be taken up, he set his face to go to Jerusalem. And he sent messengers ahead of him, and on their way they entered a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him. But they did not receive him because his face was set toward Jerusalem. When his disciples, James and John, saw it, they said, Lord, do you want us to command fire to come down from heaven and consume them? But he turned and rebuked them, and then he went on to another village. As they were going along the road, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have their nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. To another he said, Follow me. But he said, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, Let the dead bury their own dead. But as for you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Another said, I will follow you, Lord, but let me first say farewell to those at my home. And Jesus said to him, No one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God most high, the rock of our salvation, hold us fast and make us strong. Crush our enemies and save us from those who hate us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.